So how's it going guys? Billy Rains and we're headed to our new truck. So let's talk about it. We got cleared off workers comp. That video will be my workers comp video will be next or before. I gotta finish my workers' comp video. Anyway, we got cleared to go back to work. Called up there, and they didn't. They had taken my truck from me. They had packed my stuff up on a pallet and shrink wrapped it. Is what they told me. I will find out when I get back to Joplin. Um. So we didn't have a truck, right? That was Monday of this week. It's the twentieth now. Which is a Thursday, so Monday before that. Got completely cleared to go back to work. Um, found out my truck had been taken. Had to talk to logs to fix my logs. All that. Talked to my DM on Tuesday, Chad. He said he was putting me in for a truck, truck request. Which I thought they did on Monday, but I guess they didn't until Tuesday. Um... Told me to give him a little time. He'd find me a truck. Wednesday came along, which was yesterday, and he called me with a... CFI calls it a truck um, offer. Truck offer. So, basically, they were like, we have this 2019 T680, 140,000 miles on it, he thinks. Do I want it? It's sitting at the Wilmer Yard. I said, of course I want it. So that's what we're doing now. We're heading to CFI Wilmer to see if my truck's there. I hope so. All right, guys. This is the new truck, right? Not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. This is a 2019 Kenworth T680. Red CFI truck. This is this is the truck they gave me. This is the truck we're going to try to make money in. This is a pretty fucking standard CFI Kenworth T680. I'm going to go ahead and apologize if the uh, sound is fucked up. It's really windy out here. It's a little dirtier. Than I would have liked. But it ain't got to be clean to make money. We got tires. We got all that jazz. Here I am. Uh, here I am opening the uh, the hood of the truck with my bad arm. Just kind of showing off. Showing that I'm back 100%. You know, she's rusted. She's dirty. I'm sure once we get rolling, things will be better. She is, she is really basically going over, uh, making sure I don't see no, like, real bad. It, it's, it's weird, the place they gave me the truck, it's on gravel, kind of. So I can't really judge for leaks and whatnot, but we're looking. Again, I want to apologize for the sound out here. It's windy, I've got headphones on. I'm doing my best, guys, but... Um, yeah, we're just looking for basically leaks. I'm going to check the oil level. The other the other coolant levels I can see look good. The belt has nice, not too much tension on it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, we're just looking around, making sure everything's good. One little trick you guys always need to make sure you do is pull this bad boy up before you close the engine. Otherwise, you're going to look real dumb. Pack car! Um, yeah, before you close the hood, though, make sure you pull this part See, that's unlocked. I mean, that's locked. It's not going to close like that. You got to lock it in place and it's going to, it'll close right up. All right. First little initial look through. Doesn't look that bad. Going to make sure we have three points of contact getting into the truck because that's what, oh, that's what we're really worried about. Staying safe out here. Ooh. 
not digging this guys we do not have a set place for our we don't have a set place for our camera yet by camera i mean my phone I think the radio's on pretty loud, so we're gonna. Yep, there we go. It starts. Uh, I don't know how much more you could ask for. Give me just a minute to get the people net powered up and everything, and I'll come back to you with a little tour of the inside of the truck. All right, this is a 2019 as opposed to a 2018. So, I mean, most everything. Is exactly the same. The main difference is this up here and the gear selector is different. It's a lot beefier now. It's a lot more like what I'm used to. Um, these are the same. All, all this is the same. Um, don't exactly know what this is. If you know what this is, uh, leave me a comment down below. These are the same. All this is the same. You know, temperature control, shit like that. These are your, those two are the same. Um, all these are the same. Same lame ass people net. There's a wider frame shot of some of the uh, storage area I got. I got some air fresheners in here. I'm going to have to go find the permit book because I don't see that bad boy in here. A uh, place for the place for the microwave right there. place for the fridge. That's where I'm going to put the fridge. The fridge goes down there, but they don't come with a fridge. So I'm going to have to get that from Joplin because that's where all my stuff went. Got an extra mat. Got a bunk beds back here. Um... This mattress doesn't seem as comfortable as the last one I had, but it should be fine. I think everything's pretty much the same, though. Everything's pretty much the same, exactly how I remember it. Minus a couple things up front, but that's not a big deal. Other than that, most everything's the same. It looks like I lost my, yeah, I'm not going to have an air, uh, air blower in here because I have one in the other truck. Yep, it'll be fine. Got some storage back here. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Looks like they've been teaming or something because this thing's pretty fucked up. Just trying to make sure I don't find like a poop in here or something. So that's what the underneath looks like. Guessing those are my fucking chains. They look disgusting and that's taking up a lot of space. Uh, yeah, we got our triangles. We got our nail bar. We got four straps, which is cool. Don't know what that thing is. That black thing. If you know what it is, let me know. Those look like the tools for my chains. Those silver things down there. Um, Alright, so we got this. So, it's got the two antennas up front. Uh, there's no padlock and key. I'm going to have to try to find one of those. I got my push broom. Got my nail bar. Got my tire chains. Antennas. Super single tire chains. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about that because that is... We don't have that many, I don't think. We might, shit. I'm about to get rid of some of those. I don't need that many. I don't need that many chains. I guess they're... No, nah, they probably want us to have it in case we pick up a trailer with super singles. But I'm not chaining no trailer tires. I don't... I ain't about that life, so... All right, so we got our inverter over here. Let's... No, nah, we don't need to turn it on yet. That's the, uh, that's the 1500 watt inverter. That's pretty standard. Uh, these are your back, back, uh, back end controls. Your temperature control. This is your light back here. So we can turn that off. This is one of my favorite buttons. This locks the doors in the front of the truck. 
Um, so that's the above light. That's the light down there. That's the bunk light. Well, it's right here now, but it'll be down there in a minute. Uh, got your, this is the work, the plug down here. Got us a 120 watt. Everything's pretty standard. Everything's pretty standard. All right, guys, I'm going to have to go through and edit this and make sure the audio is all good and the way I want it. Beard's looking good. So, anyway, this is the new truck. It's the truck they put me in. Probably going to try to edit this video before I move anything in just in case I need to reshoot anything. Don't worry, guys. That's not your problem. That's my problem. Um, but, yeah. So, this has been my truck. Been think We're still working on a name. Um... I'll get that to you guys when I find it, figure it out. It's not going to be Ruby again. I had a suggestion. Somebody suggested Ruby 2. Not going to be Ruby. Ruby was uh, named after my ex-girlfriend's birthstone. So we're not going to be continuing that tradition. Uh, we'll have to think of something else. So maybe I'll go live before I put this video up. Get some suggestions from the live audience. See if we figure out anything we like. And um, I'll try to put that in here before I put the video out. But um, we'll see how long this is. I might come back to you guys in a minute. I will at least come back and say bye. How about that? But that's about it for the truck tour. Alright guys. Still no name for the truck. We're working on it. But... That's going to about do it for this video. It's about long enough. Um, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, check the stuff out down below in the description. It's some pretty good stuff. Some good channels. A couple different ways to get a hold of me. I'd appreciate y'all following me on the Instagram. I'm trying to build that up so I can use it better. Um, sorry if I look tired. It's been a rough night. But anyway, guys, appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.